Z by HP released a new short film today titled Unlocked. That is an adventure drama created specifically for data scientists. And out of 10, I'd say it's a... Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I create weekly data content. But yes, you heard me right, Z by HP, a computer making company, released a movie. And not only a movie, but an adventure movie with guns, bad guys, and car chases. And it was made for data scientists? If you're just as confused as I was, let me explain. Z by HP is part of HP, Hewlett Packard. And they make high powered computer workstations, specifically configured for data professionals. They're like any other business and trying to advertise in this crazy world, but recognize that we, the general public, kind of hate ads and they're not wrong. So they decided to find something we all love, streaming. So they hired a production company and created Unlocked. So what exactly is Unlocked? The creators describe it as a cinematic, epic, international story of how a ragtag team of data scientists would use data to unlock great mysteries of the world. And to be honest, wow, that sounds a little bit dramatic, but in reality, Unlocked is a 34 minute adventure commercial? Adventure commercial? Adventure-mercial? Commercial adventure? Something like that. Plot is a girl has traveled to Guatemala in search of a mystical healing flower when she runs into a local cartel and has huge trouble. She then needs help from her data scientist friends to save her life and locate that magic flower. The movie itself could be a standalone short film, but there's some very clear lines that are said to advertise Z by HP, and rightfully so, they sponsored the video. But don't get me wrong, even with that, I still really enjoyed the movie. Is it perfect? No. Will it win an Oscar? Probably not. But could my wife, who doesn't have a data job and doesn't particularly love data, sit down and watch it? Yeah, probably. And more importantly, will you as a data aficionado enjoy it? I think so, and here's why. One, there really isn't any data movies out there or any data entertainment, am I right? Like there's not just a ton of data movies. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I couldn't name one, maybe Moneyball, I guess, off the top of my head, but there's not a ton. So honestly, it was just really fun to see a movie directed entirely to me in my interests. Two, our good friend Ken G makes his debut on the big screen. On Instagram a few weeks ago, he hinted at something big was coming, and now we can see that end result. Hey Ken. Ken, I think you have a very bright future in acting. And three, the techniques and algorithms used in the movie made a lot of sense. I thought they were pretty realistic and I had fun thinking about how I would go about solving the problem using data science. That's actually the next coolest part about the movie. There's actually four entire data science challenges and data sets that accompany this movie. So honestly, it's pretty cool because that makes it almost interactive. It's like as if you are in the movie. By visiting hp.com unlocked, you can see the challenges that highlight data visualization, natural language processing, audio analysis, and image analysis that all tie extremely well into the movie and would be pretty fun. I think this is a really unique, entertaining idea, and honestly, I can't wait to try some of the challenges. Now, of course, there were parts of the movie that weren't as good, let's just be honest. For instance, sometimes it did feel like the advertisements were really forced. My favorite plug was when one of the characters smashes a bad guy on the head with a backpack with her HP laptop inside, and upon examining it after, nothing has happened to the laptop because it is, quote, really sturdy. <laughs> I also laughed at some of the coding slash computational times, like they somehow put together a super complex image scraping, clustering algorithm in just like a few seconds. And even the best data scientists in the world would take a lot longer to make that. It would at least take like an hour. And of course, this is a short film. It's only 34 minutes, so it's not really practical to actually have it be realistic. I understand. And was the plot bulletproof? Probably not, but I thought it was really fun and I thought it was adventurous and so I didn't really care that much. Overall, I really liked the movie. It honestly just made me smile and made me happy. I'd be comfortable giving it a solid 8 out of 10 as I felt it was really fun and really relatable. And I definitely think it's worth your time, so I'll go ahead and put the link in the description down below. You can watch it for free on Peacock and it's a super short watch. You can be like me and watch it at the treadmill at the gym and get some calories burnt at the same time. I also have the link to the data sets and challenge in the description down below so you can check those out. And that's it, that's the review. Eight out of 10, would recommend to a friend. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you left a comment and a like. Every time you smash the like button, another La Eterna flower is planted and you'll get the reference after you've watched the movie, but it's a good thing, okay? And if you have any questions about the movie or any of your own thoughts or comments or your own review, I'd love to see them down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in future videos.